If you're a germaphobe or someone that just likes to be clean, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this. If I asked you what the dirtiest thing that you could possibly think of is, you'd probably say your toilet. After all, it, it's a toilet. But it might surprise you to learn that things that you use every day on a regular basis that you have your hands on all the time have not just a little bit more bacteria, but significantly more bacteria than a toilet does. And quick little hint, if you're watching this on a mobile device like a phone, <sighs> Keep watching. Here are 10 everyday things that have more germs than your toilet. Number 10 are your shoes. Okay, this one might be a given, but it's probably a good idea to take your shoes off when you enter someone's home. And you know, not just to be polite. Those of you that leave your shoes on may just be shocked to know how much dirt and bacteria that you're bringing in with every step that you take. Take a moment and think about everywhere that you and your shoes went today. Oh, did you walk through some dookie? That's nice. The stroll that you took through the park, or the subway that you took to work, or that filthy public bathroom that you used at the gas station. Oh. With every step you take, more and more germs latch onto your shoes and hitch a ride, potentially spreading to every surface your covered feet may come into contact with. Many harmful germs, such as the norovirus, can survive on surfaces for multiple weeks. My recommendation is leave your shoes at the door and buy some comfy indoor slippers. But whatever you do, do not walk barefoot. You gon' get AIDS. Number nine is a dog bowl. There are two things you can count on when owning a dog. Unconditional love and a walking breeding ground for bacteria. Dogs stick their nose in everything and the germs that they collect quickly spread to their bowls. A recent study out of Harpury University in the United Kingdom concluded that a dog's water bowl may be home to bacteria that could not only harm us and our furry little friends, but also prove deadly. Ashlyn Carroll, an animal science lecturer, explained that the close contact between pets and their owners is leading to alarming concerns in regards to the bacterial transmission of infectious diseases. One way to reduce the spreading of germs is by choosing the right bowl. Believe it or not, bacteria is more likely to thrive on ceramic or plastic bowls rather than stainless steel. So next time your furry little friends goes uh, 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 and drinks a little water or eats a little food and then kisses you, you just got Ebola. Just kidding, but it'll suck anyway. Some sort of germ. Number eight is the remote for the television. When you consider where germs could be hiding in your home, it may seem unlikely that the family room or living room could be higher on the list than your bathroom, but that might just be the case. There is a disgusting item close to your couch that's just waiting for you to grab it, the remote control for your television. Think about the different people that handle the remote every day and everything else that their hands come into contact with prior to touching it. Oh, commercial for the show, just gonna go for a poop and not wash my hands. Or more realistically, think about all the times that the remote has fallen on the floor or was lost in the couch. And for those who eat while watching TV, the grease and food residue that's left on the remote adds up too. All of this makes your remote control one of the dirtiest items in your home. Make sure you disinfect the remote thoroughly and often cause it's just nasty. Number seven is the faucet of your sink. Every time you pour yourself a glass of water or fill your sink to clean your dishes, you may be interacting with something with far more germs than your toilet, your kitchen faucet. The Hygiene Council in the United Kingdom conducted a swab test where a cotton swab was drawn across a specific object and then inspected underneath a microscope to determine the different types of bacteria that it had on its surface. This swab test concluded that over 30% of kitchen faucets had bacteria at levels that were completely unsatisfactory. And by the way, that's like a really nice way of putting it. The same test was also conducted on the handles of toilets in people's bathrooms, something obviously touched often with gross hands, and it concluded that only 15% of them had unsatisfactory levels of bacteria. Conclusion, do your dishes in the toilet. Number six is your handbag. 
here is a revolting revelation to the women out there that carry a purse or handbag with them. You might be carrying a little more than your money and some lip gloss around with you. Household experts have listed a woman's handbag as one of the worst places in your home for germs that could potentially get you sick. A major reason for this is that most things, like say a toilet seat, are usually cleaned on a regular basis. But the same cannot be said about bags that we carry around, which only get dumped out when we're looking for something. Some tips to consider when trying to prevent germs from spreading to and from your handbag, avoid placing it on the ground in restaurants or while in the bathroom, and make sure that you wash your hands after handling it, especially before you eat, because you're going to have poopy particles in your mouth. Oh. Number five is the keyboard of your computer. Oh, are you on a computer right now? When was the last time you Lysol the keyboard? Mm. As the weather gets colder, fighting off germs and bacteria should become a much higher priority for you. But while keeping your toilet seat clean is important, there's a workday tool that's 20,000 times dirtier. Yes, that's right, the keyboard of your computer. This is especially true if you work or live in a place where there are a lot of people using one computer. Multiple individuals touching things around the office or house and interacting with that keyboard means boatloads of germs. Which means that you might just be one typed email away from shutting down the entire office. Unless that's your goal, in which case, just lick the keyboard. One particular germ that has popped up on many keyboards is gram-positive kochi, which has been found in pneumonia. One suggestion, keep a container of Lysol wipes handy and regularly use them to clean your keyboard. Or spray them, or for that matter, spray yourself, you filthy animal. Number four are kitchen sponges. Okay, this one might not shock you, but it's still nasty. Some people live under the delusion that just because they use something to clean stuff, it's clean itself, and that's unfortunately very untrue. Your go-to cloth or kitchen sponge likely has more germs and bacteria on it than your toilet does. Think about that the next time you're drying the dishes. These things are usually damp and are constantly being introduced to new microbial cells every time that they're used to clean up a new mess. A study was conducted by Marcus Eggert at Fortwangen University for Applied Sciences in Schwarzwald, Germany. Various sponges from the surrounding area were donated in order to get a closer look at what was really hiding in them. 362 different forms of bacteria were found on the 14 kitchen sponges that were tested. Please, for the love of God, just start throwing away used sponges. They can't be that expensive and uh, just replace them with ones that aren't going to cause you death. Number three is your cell phone. Haha, <laughs> told ya! If you were to ask someone what's the one thing that they bring with them everywhere that they go, whether it's to work, to the store, or even the bathroom, they will probably say their cell phone with pretty much no hesitation. But here's an interesting fact about your mobile. According to University of Arizona scientists, it's 10 times dirtier than your toilet seat. Oh, look at that, a lot of you are holding one right now. Mm. When it comes to the bacteria on your phone, your hand is the biggest contributor. Researchers tested the cell phones of a group of high school students, and the results were shocking. Over 17,000 bacterial gene copies were found on the devices, and some of the worst were Streptococcus and E. coli, which were frequent on a huge number of those phones. Though, that doesn't mean that you'll automatically get sick, it does mean that it's just dangerous and nasty. To be safe, don't let anyone who's ill use your cell phone and definitely disinfect yours whenever possible. Some of you are looking at your phone right now like, oh, what? Yep. Number two is your cutting board. A food preparation tool you might be using every day isn't just a little dirtier than your toilet, it's actually, um, 200 times dirtier. Research shows that the average kitchen cutting board has 200 times the amount of fecal matter than an average toilet does. Additionally, chopping boards often possess harmful bacteria such as salmonella or E. coli. The main cause of food-related illnesses is cross-contamination of raw meat, chicken in particular. One survey concluded that out of 2,000 United Kingdom residents asked, 40% of them admitted to putting their health at risk by using the same cutting board for meat and vegetables. When it comes to your cutting board, get into the useful and healthy habit of washing it, not only after using it, but before as well. Oh, it's okay, honey. The juices from the chicken just make the veggies more tasty. <laughs> 
And number one is your mouth. Yep. A kiss can be a very intimate and wonderful thing, but did you know that the mouth you happen to be pressing yours against more than likely has more bacteria than an entire toilet does? Pucker up. A study conducted by the Forsyth Institute in collaboration with the University of Oslo, Norway and the Harvard School of Dental Medicine in Boston found that the average mouth contains more than 700 different species of bacteria. Although your mouth does contain some good bacteria, there's also bacteria that could be potentially hazardous. Aspiration pneumonia, bacterial endocarditis, and cardiovascular disease are only some of the conditions that have been linked to some oral species of bacteria. Just a little tip to fight back against your potty mouth, brush often, make sure you use mouthwash, and don't forget to floss, baby. You only get one set of teeth and mouth for that matter.